Okay, Jace Tunnel here with the Mission Aransas Research Reserve from the University of Texas Marine Science Institute. And uh, today uh, I'm actually going to be writing a letter to an 11 year old girl that had thrown a message in a bottle out into uh, the ocean. Actually, right at the equator in the Atlantic Ocean. And then I found it on a beach here in Texas. And so, uh, you know, here's the letter, and it's actually in French. So I had to get somebody to translate it. And then uh, she actually drew a drawing of the earth with uh, whales and sharks and then with uh, her family on a sailboat. And so she's got uh, two brothers and uh, a mom and dad. And so I guess for years they went traveling on a, uh, around the world on the sailboat. And so whenever they came across the equator in the Atlantic on their way home uh, to France, they, uh, the 11 year old girl wrote a, a letter in and put it in here and then threw it in the water. And so I picked it up off the beach and then uh, I did an episode of, um, you know, taking the letter out, uh, reading it, you know, uh, figuring out that it was in French, then getting it translated and then read that. So this is the second part to that story. I'm actually going to write a letter uh, to the girl and, uh, and mail it. And so her name is Chia, and uh, she was 11 years old at the time. Now this was found over a year ago, or this was thrown in the ocean over a year ago. And so it took over a year for it to show up on a beach here in Texas. And so I'm gonna go ahead and start writing a letter. Uh, dear Chia, I'm gonna tell her that uh, I found her bottle, where I found it, uh, when I found it and uh, let her know that, you know, we were doing a little video about it and then we'll see if she writes us back. And so that'll be kind of the second episode once I get in contact with her. So uh, here I go. Okay. I got my letter here. And I put my address in there. And I'm also going to put the date. So today, what is today? May 20, 21. Awesome. Okay, now I gotta fit it in this little envelope. And I also told her where she can find the video that we made so that she can see her bottle. Make sure that fits in there. Okay. Oh. I guess you don't have to. It's been a while since I've written a letter but I'll put their address on here. So um, let's see. France. Okay, I don't think I'll show you that because they probably don't want me showing that. But I think what I'll do is I'll also go to the website that they left here and maybe try to contact them there. They might actually have an email on there. I think that'd be pretty cool. Okay, so. I'm going to go put this in the mailbox and I don't know how long it's going to take to get to France. Maybe it'll take a week or two, but I'll let you know whenever uh, she writes me back or emails me. I actually put my email in there too. Okay, now to put the letter in the mail. All right. Okay, so I just got word from my kids that something came in the mail that looks like it could be from France. And so they told me to come check it out. Now I've been waiting for months for, remember the message in a bottle? I had sent off a letter. I've been checking the mailbox like every day, excited to see if, you know, the a letter came or something like that. I even, um, after a couple of months, 
after not hearing anything uh, from the the girl who you know threw the message in a bottle out, um, I actually sent her. I went to their website that they have, ended up writing them a note um, and sending it off to them, and put my email in there. So I was hoping to get email, but I have I hadn't been able to see anything. So let's see what we find. Ooh, okay. Well, I definitely got uh, my car insurance. Let's see. Okay, look at this. Okay, well, I, maybe I shouldn't show you their address. I don't know if that's... But it is definitely from France. So let's go inside and see what it says. Okay, so now we're in the house. I definitely got my... Uh, Progressive car insurance. Okay. Here's the letter. Let's open this sucker up. Oh, man. Oh, they wrote it in English. Oh my gosh, how cool. Okay, so it looks like they got a couple of pages written, lots of photos. Looks like even the uh, message in a bottle. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. They have the actual bottle right there and it says the third passage on their voyage, on their voyage. <clears throat> oh yeah, that's it right there. That's the letter that's in the bottle. Oh, and look, they actually have a, a picture of Rick Tennant. He's there at the university with us. Uh, he was with me when I found that thing, and I took a picture of him with it. <laughs> okay. Wow, okay. And look at this map. This is a map, it looks like, of their voyage that they did around the world. The whole family. You can see that red writing there. Oh, okay. Okay, and there's actually a couple of bottles. Okay. You see that right there? There's a bottle there and there's a bottle right over here. I guess there were two bottles that they threw whenever they went across the equator. Okay, so let's read this. And then, and then there's a letter, an actual letter. Okay, now I haven't read this yet, so. Okay, what a wonderful surprise to open my mailbox and find your letter. Let me tell you the story. That sounds awesome. Okay, it was a Thursday afternoon, the 27th of May, 2021. I just came home from school. I used to look in my mailbox and I saw a little letter with an American writing. I recognized the style, quite different from French and Italian writing. And I think, but I, but I don't have any American friends. Maybe is an answer of, I opened the letter and what? Somebody found our message in a bottle and write us back. Wow, so incredible, so crazy. I thought it only happens in movies. But now the question, which bottle did he find? Because uh, they remember they, they put two out based on this map and the pictures I just saw. Okay, because you have to know that I thought we threw two bottles at sea during our voyage. The first one was in April 2011. Whoa, that's 10 years ago. When we crossed for the first time the equator with our two kids, Malo, four years old, and Thea, 18 months old, sailing to Brazil. The second one was the Pacific on July 2017, just one day before the Galapagos when we crossed the equator for our second time with our third, with our third kids. Uh, Malo 10, Thea 7, and 
uh, Mate, three years old. I look back on my photos to find the pictures of this moment. Oh, there, okay, there's a, this front and back. I try to find your video on your YouTube channel, but I can't find it. And this night, right before going to sleep, still very excited about this story, I looked on Facebook, something that I don't use to do very often. And I find the picture of your friend holding the bottle in his hand. And surprise, it wasn't the good bottle. Oh, yes, now I remember. We threw a third bottle crossing the equator, sailing from Falkland to St. Barth in April 2020. Oh, yeah, that's the date. That's the date that, uh, uh, that was on our letter. And this is the bottle you found 13 months later on the beach of Aransas. We threw this bottle two days after the birthday of my daughter, Thea. That is the reason why she write the message and Mate make the drawing. Now you know the story and it is, the, it is time for me to write you back. Sorry that it takes so long to write you back, but I had a lot of things to manage this summer and I didn't want to write you by email. It's too fast. <laughs> Woo! I'm glad. This is awesome. Okay. In these days, we sail a little with Alora. That's the name of the boat. And I have finally time to write you back. My name is Elena, the mother of Malo, Thea, and Mate. And with my husband, Thierry, we just came back from a long trip of four years around the world. We live in a little island called Belle Ile en Mer, a beautiful little island in Brit Brit Brittany. I know I'm screwing that up, but and you can't imagine how fantastic it was to find your letter and your beautiful video I finally found in your YouTube channel. <clears throat> awesome. Okay, I printed for you the pictures showing how I discover the good bottle and I hope we will keep in contact. I would like to tell you a lot of things, but if I start, I will never write you back. <laughs> so let's say that this letter is the letter number one of the following story of the message in a bottle. A big hi from Belly. Yeah, man, that is awesome. Look at this. Okay, so first passage. This was 2010, 20, 2012. That's their first bottle. Message in a bottle. Okay. Second passage. This was 2016 to 2020. This, um, this is some pictures. And then the third one. And I, I kind of showed you this before, but man, everybody's grown up and stuff by this one. This is, see if you can see that. Now that is cool. Oh, now there's a letter. Okay, let's open the letter. Oh, okay. Okay, let's see. This is the island uh, where we live and where we received your letter. An answer of a message in a bottle that sailed 4,000 miles in 13 months, crossing the equator and landing on your beach in the Gulf of Mexico. Some images of our little island. Okay, so they're postcards. Wow, this place looks amazing. Look at that lighthouse surrounded with water. Man, look at all the colors and everything. It looks like, it looks pretty crazy. I'm gonna have to look this up and see where it's at on Google Earth. Hey, well, that's cool. Um, man, okay, well, that's the, this is part two of, uh, I don't know how many parts there's gonna be, but we've got a part one on our YouTube channel. This will be part two, and uh, I'm gonna write them back and uh, maybe that'll be the part three. Okay, uh, let me get the message in a bottle real quick. Stay right there. You know what? I haven't, 
I haven't put this, usually I put the messages, you know, back in the bottle. Usually I put these messages back in the bottle because, uh, uh, you know, I save them for later. And I, I find quite a few. This is the coolest one by far I've ever found. But I kept this one out because I kept hoping that they would write me back. And they did. So, okay, I guess uh, that's it for part two. And uh, let's move on to part three. Bye.